What's up people, VantyX89 here, and lo and behold, I can record PlayStation 3 footage, but it actually looks pretty crappy, actually. Uh, well, so far the footage actually doesn't look too bad, but, eh, let's see, yeah, I don't have an owner's manual for the console or anything, and... Having done some searches, I finally found a video on YouTube showing me that all I had to do was hold the power button down until I heard a little beep and see the, that the LED blinks and booyah. There you go, I can now use my composite cables instead, meaning that my original recording method can still work. So basically what's going on here is, well, the High Life DLC came out. And well, I decided to basically trade up. I already owned an apartment here, but I figured, eh, why not buy one of the new ones? Since I'm going to be helping some of my friends rank up, uh, as well as get money, why not just go on ahead and do this? I'll just make uh, money helping them. So I'm just showing off the new place. I really do appreciate the new layout, though. It feels more home like and it's it's just not i appreciate everything being one floor instead of having to like wake up and then i'm like uh in my shower uh downstairs i had to come back up then go into my garage in order to leave so i also appreciate the spawn options being there too so now i just spawn inside my garage instead of being here so I'm basically just showing off and unfortunately it's a hazy morning in Los Santos so you can't really actually see uh, the beautiful skyline but I really do like this apartment tensile towers in case you didn't know and it's in a pretty decent and convenient spot I like it uh, the unfortunate thing is well you know it's right there by that uh, by the other place, uh, like right down the street from me and everybody buys that freaking apartment. As a result, that puts me on the line of fire from a lot of people if they choose to go after me. And considering my rank uh, at, that t at the time that I recorded this, yeah, I am a freaking target, but whatever. So here's my garage, might as well give you guys a uh, an extended tour so we're actually going to do this down the line even though yeah so first and foremost here we have my jester I decided to go for like a common rider double theme with it so the black and green black and green pearlescent uh, coquette flirty girl so I went for like the black and pink Ah, my second car, the Gauntlet, which I actually sold during the business DLC, and so I had to buy another one. My exemplar, and then the new Massacre, because, well, why the hell not? It's a, it's an Aston Martin. I bought that on principle. And, of course, my baby, my first super, my bullet, which I actually sold uh, in order to get this beast, but, you know. Uh, guy back, of course, but uh. and then since I had the money, I decided to get a freaking ADXF because, well, I thought that would look good with my black and blue pearlescent and one of the newest demons to my garage, which actually doesn't even look like this anymore. The Zentorno, because, well, why the heck not? I wanted a Lamborghini, but I wasn't quite sure of getting the Inferno, and well, I've test driven the vodka and I don't like it so I figured eh, why not go with this one it's new it looks pretty good some of the uh, some of the add-ons that you can put on it are actually pretty sweet so I figure why not so we're actually going to uh, go and set a waypoint to my second property and we're going on a road trip it's about two miles but it's worth the trip. So, let's get going. And already failing at this. 
Yeah, so this whole thing is post-commentary. Um, this is actually a test of how good the footage is going to turn out. The text is very, very fuzzy. You can't really read it. The, uh, the smaller text is illegible, like the stuff on uh, admission briefs and uh, cell phones, you know, cell phone messages, those really don't work well. But, you know, for the most part, the capture didn't, didn't go too bad. The downside is that my uh, cabling actually doesn't really give a decent picture on my HD TV compared to an HDMI, naturally. But I appreciate this though, it at least works. So should I have other things that I want to play or other games I can play with my friends, then you guys can actually see. Hopefully, uh, once everything is smoothed out, uh, we can actually get back to messing around and now you'll be able to see things from my perspective when me and Beast meet up again. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we have planned and uh, what we could do down the road, but what the heck is this? Hmm. Hello. I want, I think I wanted one of these. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Aren't you going to get back on your bike? Are you? No, you're just going to run away. God damn it, you suck. There's only one thing that I can do. I mean, considering how ridiculous that was, all I can do is face palm, damn it. Alright, so we're almost there. In fact, it's just down the street, right here. I like it because it's kind of remote, but it is very accessible. You saw the Los Santos Customs on the way, and then it's also right there near uh, the airport. So, bingo, bango. This place cost me 120 grand, but I felt like it was worth it. I didn't really want to get a second apartment. I felt like a 10 car garage was enough. So, I, while I was driving around, I found a peyote. I got it just because I wanted it. And to kind of go with the whole Dodge thing, you know, the Challenger. So, I figured I'd get a Charger too. So, I just stole a Buffalo. And of course, my prize bike, my Double T. Yeah, I don't know. I figured I'd get a bike uh, if I was invited to races and they allow custom bikes then why not actually have a bike that, I've, uh, that I could drive and have it tuned up and everything. Unfortunately, you know, there's no second floor, so why the heck is there an elevator? Well, that would've been nice if there was a basement. In fact, if you, seriously, it would've been nice to actually buy like another 10 car garage and like a luxury apartment, you know, but then it's underneath, so then you go into the basement and then there's like a whole other row of cars. But I don't know, I, I have no idea how Rockstar is really planning any of this stuff. They could do a lot more, but you know, that's besides the point, whatever. Heck, I could do all that in like another video. So, that concludes the tour. But, I decided to show off another one. So, here's where I am over here at La Mesa. So, this is basically my rise in Grand Theft Auto Online. I originally started out like everybody else does, low level, all noobish and with no money, no place. And I had a Cheval Fugitive as my first car because I figured it's going to be co-op, so why not get a four-door? So, uh, having a few friends uh, invite me in missions, basically uh, a titan of a job back before they took out the ability to replay and cut the payout in half, I got this. You can't really see it, but, you know. Yeah, so just 
rundown and I've always been about convenience and it just so happened to be near an LS Customs. So I figured, yeah, that's exactly how you do it. And the skate park said you can do like stupid tricks like that. Thought it was a nice idea, but I never really used it. And also you'd have cars that would actually spawn right next to the garage. So, you know, eh, if there was something decent there that you could use like a getaway vehicle, then you could get it. But, you know, yeah. Anyway, we're off to the next stop here, but I'm not going to cut away. We're going to drive there because, well, that's pretty much how I did it. And while we're driving, I might as well go on to say that I didn't get the American Dream Trophy right away. Instead, I was stupid enough to, um, I was stupid enough to actually buy my lo uh, buy my properties on location. So after I bought my Tesla Towers apartment, uh, and I realized what I was supposed to do, you're supposed to buy the property from the site. So I uh, found one uh, that was like a block away or something bought it and then it actually paid uh paid me like two hundred thousand dollars so i actually had to work uh to get back like the uh the three hundred and eighty five thousand so i had like another one or eighty five thousand that i had to earn and so i started just grinding missions this is before um i knew about rooftop rumble and uh back when well in all honesty i wasn't even eligible to do the mission I hadn't even done it at that point. So, you know, whatever. I got my apartment back. That's that's pretty much the point. So, here we are when I promoted. Uh, just out there boosting cars and everything. And I got my six-car garage. Yeah, they, were, they sounded desperate to sell this thing. So, I decided to get it. There's women's clothes just all over the place. Just, like, seriously, like a pile of, uh, like, uh, shirts and negligees and stray panties laying everywhere it's just yeah <laughs> so then uh, uh once the uh once they finally released the stimulus package the 500,000 i decided to head out here and uh you know just look for some nice places and so i found this building and it was freaking gorgeous i wanted it I also wanted to actually customize my cars, well, uh, customize my vehicles and my weapons. So I used most of the money to buy this apartment, uh, you know, the first one that I had. And then I, um, what is it? Apartment 42, I think is the one I got now. I can't even really read that. Dang. Yeah, that's a downside. But um, yeah, so then I went and bought my bullet and then I started upgrading my guns, upgrading my uh, my car's uh, appearance and maybe even a bit of its performance. I still need to actually do more for that. But yeah, yeah, I've just been expanding. So that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot more that I can do now. I mean, you know, the one of the few other goals that I have is, well, I want a freaking attack chopper or, you know, mm -hmm. something that can hold a lot of people and just we can do a whole bunch of craziness, especially with the heist and everything that's supposed to come out. So that's my rise to where I am now. <laughs> so uh, I thank you guys for watching this crazy stupid video and i hope that you like it and if you want more stuff then i'll try my hardest to record it i mean you won't be able to read the fine print like that but you can see the big picture and i think that's all that really matters thanks see ya